for me. Today we're joined by Juliet David West II, who is the Chief Visionary Officer of Jeeves. We're going to find out what inspired her to go into fashion and more about her bags. child I've um, loved the fact of creating things like okay. um, either that it's you know um, creating pieces my and when I say pieces my yeah. sister had a Barbie doll then so my mom had fabrics that she'll make from um, our clothes or mm -hmm. like cutting items mm -hmm. and the pieces I'll just try and you know do the thread and needle sewing yeah. together yeah. and you know my first love is actually interior design so I, you know my parents would allow me to um, that we decorate, or we arrange, not we decorate, we arrange the, the, the sitting room, living okay. area. And one of my favorite parts was like when my mom and my parents would have people over for dinner mm. and for me to arrange the table. Okay. Uh, that was, that was the, that was like, I love that part because I had to even decorate, you know, the paper napkins, yes. I had to mm. do all of that. That was really nice. So that starting up from then, I knew that, you know, I had that in me, like in the creative side and, um, I knew that I would start this someday. So have you, did you study fashion in university? No, I didn't study fashion in university. My first degree was um, biological science and I also oh, did, wow. yes, <laughs> yes, 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 it's, it's totally, yeah. totally different from what I'm doing now and I did a master's degree in management for enterprise and business growth. Okay. So as at the point in time when I did a uh, master's in management with enterprise and business growth, mm. it was something that, you know, I had to have a conversation with myself and my dad and, and it would be that, okay, what can I do that will help me, um, that will, inc that would, Utilize, but utilize you know my 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 uh, mm -hmm. master's degree and all and mm -hmm. i do have a flair for management i think i did finally did realize later on mm -hmm. <laughs> so i did that so but my first my what i, I did all my life for the mm -hmm. majority of my educational life was science not arts mm -hmm. yeah. well, that's interesting yeah. okay so before we go on to the bags mm -hmm. We have some questions just to try and get to know you better <gasps> oh my gosh oh my gosh so what to know me. Uh -huh. Yes. So when you think when you think of your childhood, what's the fondest memory that you have? Well, um, there are a whole lot of them. So to pick one, actually, mm. or am I gunning towards answering? <laughs> <laughs> answering. <laughs> Give it numerous answers to one question. Yeah. Oh, well, um, I have a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Majority, uh, majority of it has to do with just my family, just being around my. Mm -hmm. uh, family space and the way that we were brought up by my my dad and my mom mm -hmm. and having my four beautiful siblings and my, my childhood you know it was, it was great it was okay great. so your childhood memory is the family bonding yes it is it okay. is it is the family bonding like mm -hmm. having like there's so many stories yeah okay you might fill up the screen so let's not bore yeah you with that's that. fine so back to james mm -hmm. thank you so now i have used Nigerian designers bags and I've used other bags as well. So she was saying back in 2009 when she started out She produced the line and I got one of the bags from that line and I still use it till today Yes, she does And it's still like I and that's what I use as my laptop bag and it's still very good The quality is amazing and the attention to detail as well as you can see like all these are hand handcrafted. Yes, you know, yeah, and if we go into the bag, it's lined with silk. Yes. Silk so there's that touch of luxury. Yes. In, in everything. And another thing I like about the bags is that the real leather. Pure leather. Pure leather. Pure yes. leather. Yeah. Don't get it confused. <laughs> <laughs> and like each bag is different. So when you buy jibs, you have a signature piece. 
So as you can see from this one, like it's beaded and everything is handcrafted. And it's really like, how do you get, sometimes I look at your bags and I wonder how do you get your inspiration for the bags? Um, they do come, I, I, you know, I'm not like a, a spirit or something, but they do come naturally to me. They, I get I get inspired from all sorts of things to mm -hmm. be honest. Um, this this particular bag, the mm -hmm. turtle bag, was um, the inspiration came. I knew that I I wanted to do a bag that had there's a lot a whole lot more about this bag, mm -hmm. but which will come in the future. Not now. I'm not mm -hmm. revealing that revealing that now yet. Mm -hmm. So um, this was inspired by a bracelet that my dad had got me from Lynx and it had mm -hmm. um, a turtle on it and some other creature on it, which mm -hmm. I'm not going to explain now because if I tell yep. you now then... She's giving away the secret for the so next no, line. The secret so follow, follow the Instagram account so you on don't miss out on anything. Limited editions. I say it again, I did underscore limited editions. And I'll put the account um, title in the description as well. Exactly. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, so it was... That the inspiration came with the turtle, mm -hmm. and um, like for this, I have this signature um, asset of pearl, and it's with um, culture mainly with culture pearls. But we have for the um, more exclusive pieces, mm -hmm. um, pure pearls, good quality pearls. Mm. So we have that on most of our majority of our bags okay. um, because I started off with. This was my first thing. Mm. I, I knew mm. that I wanted to have something really unique and different. Mm. So uh, um, with time, this is a new piece because this is also new, but I, mm. this one doesn't have the, um, the, pearl. the pearl details. Mm. But it has this, sorry if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. So this one doesn't have the pearl details, but it has this um, weave here, which I'd like to call triangular weaves. Mm -hmm. This alone takes about um, five hours to do. By hand, just mm. this piece. So yeah. it's quite um, it's it's uh, quite interesting to work mm -hmm. with. So I have that as well mm -hmm. as one of my um, signatures. Signatures. So yeah. So um, I have. So I actually have um, this pearl um, tassel, mm -hmm. this um, triangular weaves. Mm -hmm. Then I also have this one as well, which is new to it, and it's mm -hmm. I call it the the. the um, I call it the twin quadrangular stars. So it actually has two okay. stars in it. If mm. you look closely, you can mm. see them. So that's my piece. And for this bag, mm. um, I don't know whether it's a coincidence, but I know that I started this bag way back in September. I started actual production of this particular mm. bag September 2015, and uh, mm. got it finished this year. And I had three oh, wow. craftsmen work on it. So I don't mm. know that it has to do with the turtle thing. I've been very slow, mm. but it's about resilience, really, at the end of mm. the day. Yes. So even though it starts out slow, even though it starts out mm. slow, just keep pushing on. Believe in the process. Just be thank you. Mm. Believe in the process. <laughs> <laughs> process. Uh -huh. Okay. So thank you very much for joining us yes. today. Mm -hmm. And all her social media handles are going to be in the description, so you can get in touch. And seriously, don't take my word for it. Go on the social media, contact her, and get your hands on one of these pieces because yes. they. You really do not want to miss out on them. You don't want to, and I'll even add to this, as at this point in time, we yeah. don't have a lot of our bags on that page yet, like this particular one. So this mm. is actually an exclusive, exclusive look at these things. We're having, we're going to have something around that. So it would be good if you follow now, mm. and don't regret. So, <laughs> back to some teaser questions. Let's find out how she's going to dodge this one. So, <laughs> yeah. You know you're going to a deserted island and you're going to be there for one week. You can only carry three items. What three items are you going to take with you? Okay, now she caught me, so I have to escape this one. Huh. So, I will take... I know I'll take... I, I know I'll take a phone. Okay. But charging now is a problem. Mm -hmm. So maybe a phone and a charger and a solar system is a pack. So that's one item. Okay. I'm not ah. cheating, am I? <laughs> believe this but i know i need water so water is number one then my phone okay so the edge i give people is there's a fountain like a natural spring on the island okay so you don't need to bother about water it's natural spring that's where all these bottles of water are supposed to be filled in like the natural spring so, so you have water okay. so okay. i'm answering the three so okay. i'll need a phone pack a phone pack consisting of 
a charger, the phone, and what again? <laughs> and your solar, solar panel. panel. No and problem. a solar panel. Phone so panel. that's one. Okay. Then I need water and a tent to cover water me. And a tent. Okay. From wolves. And, and the tent will have something that would, you know, it will be, it will have like some technological thing that would wow. take away wild you animals wow away tent. from me. A wild <laughs> tent. <laughs> so yes, I, I did it. I did it this time. That's fine, that's fine, okay. that's fine. Okay, so if you could take a special someone with you on your island, is that person available? <laughs> Currently, no. Currently, Currently no. no. Why? No, there's no one available right okay. now at this point in time that I'll take on mm -hmm. a special a special person. I can take people there to take jo me. jolly with me. Yes, I can take you to jolly with me and to suffer with me. Mm. You know, but not you know taking yeah, a romantic yeah. mm -hmm. getaway. There's no such person like that right now. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I won't push. Please push don't, push, don't, don't, don't push. Let's we'll talk off camera about that. Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So thank you very much. Thank you, Jane. For this interview, I love this interview. It was so you know so relaxing. Should I say so? Because I was I think I was laughing. Oh, I didn't laugh too much. Though. No, I you never laugh too much. Laughter is the best medicine. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Okay, so bye from Juliet and bye from Untypical Me and see you next week. Bye. bye.